Alright, uh, this is the Yu Gi Oh's combination lock designed after the Da Vinci Code. It's for. This is a much smaller puzzle, so it should be able to fit in the um, screen size a bit better. And I can um, be a little closer to it. Um, this thing is four inches long. Two inches wide, and and three inch, three and three eighths inches tall with the handle. Now, I like to unlock this thing so we can see inside it. I don't have a tripod or anything, so I need to set this thing down so we can do this. fairly easy to turn the dials once you've got it um, set straight the um, it feels fairly loose so you have to wiggle it out a little bit but there we go okay. now the, uh, the internal measurements Measuring by the inner or open space, as all pikes are, the inner cylinder is seven eighths inches wide. The outer is one and a half inches wide. The let's call it a plug it is three quarters inches wide and three quarters inches deep. This thing, now this thing I think is pathetic. It's incredibly thick for its size and at the same time incredibly small. And I just, you can put the, the thing's about the size of a cell phone. Actually, it's about half the length of one to be, one actually. Um. Incredibly thick for its size. This is you can see the walls here, and it's inc and inc it's incredibly small. I have, based on work glove sizes, size large hand, size large hands. So I can only comfortably fit two fingers in this thing. It has absolutely no detail outside of the handle. In case you're wondering about that background noise, in case you heard it, my uh, toilet needs a little bit of work. Um, and you can see from the the handle here that um, it the handle has some has laser cut detail into it. You can actually see all the way through. Like you can see the um, the brightly uh, bright wood on the other side there, and. Um, also see the lines cut into the wood. Interesting touch. Not sure why they did that. Um, it, it, I'm not complaining about that part. It's just wondering why. It's an odd, odd design choice. Um, now, um, the, the other design, design details are on the ends of this thing. And... Well, sorry, yeah, here's the other end. And, um, and the numbers on the combination itself. Numbers on the dials. The only plus I found is you can set the combination to anything you want. Looking in the book here.
these are the actual locking rings. All you have to do is line up the notch with the number. It can be any number you want, and it'll work. Um, it's a very simple lineup design, and all you have to do is line up the um, this leg with the teeth here into this notch. The arrow on the outside, once you put the plug on, uh, here we go. The, the arrow here shows you where the numbers lead, need to line up in order to, in order for the lock to be unlocked. And it is very easy to turn once you play with it some. Now, when the first time I assembled this thing, it was very difficult to turn, but. <clears throat> you get your palm on the um, outside of this on the long on the solid half of this thing you can actually turn it with your thumb and two fingers here um, when I first assembled this thing it was very difficult to um, to turn the first time but once you've loosened it up and again using the candle wax as lube you can um, relatively easily rotate this thing Uh, it doesn't give you any recommendations for um, for twisting it to a certain point to officially lock it. Unlike the unlike the safe. But what could you put in this thing? It's so teeny. It's so teeny. Uh, Try to um, lock it for you so I can open it up. Back up again. Yeah. You have to wrestle with the little wheel to open it up. There. That's. Bit of a problem, but manageable. Now, what could you possibly fit inside this thing? This thing. Rolled up notes, flash drive, a flash drive for two, oh, a handful of micro SD cards. That's, that's about it, and the memory stuff would be far too valuable to hide in a wooden puzzle. Right, this thing is extremely flammable if it was ever caught in the fire, so you're not talking about any fire resistance. It's, and it's very small. And the notes? Yeah. With the use of cell phones, only a kid will want to do that, but it'd be completely pointless. I mean, why would you put a note in this thing to begin with? If they were gonna give it to a friend, uh, secretly just ha give it to him in passing, heading this to him, heading this to him, and you'd have to figure out what the combination is. And assuming you didn't just tell him what it was, it would look very suspicious. And um, flash drives would be safer to just put it in your uh, in a briefcase pouch or something. As for building this thing, once again, sandpaper not included, but plenty of spare toothpicks. Um, However, I suggest two design changes. First, when assembling this thing, I find it much easier to do steps three and four before doing steps one and two because of this piece. Now this technically shows you um, putting it into place, and I apologize for any shaky cam um, stuff happening here. I wish I had a tripod. Um, and then this piece, and this, this step shows you pushing the bottom of it into place. Now I tried this, and I found it was far easier to um, put this thing into place here, like it shows here, before you um, put this piece into place. 
once you do this, then this, you can then put the, um, these other round pieces into place, no problem. And actually, I think you're supposed to put this into place first, but, you know, like, this piece, then this piece, oh, that is that piece. Never mind then. Uh, this piece, and then that piece. And that's taken care of. That's really, that's, um, now, step-wise, as it is made, that's the only change I would make. But secondly, secondly, easiestly seen on page 10, is easiestly a word, I don't know. But um, right here. The two halves are individually are assembled with axles. As you can see here, the, the little dots. Now, um, if I get from this page. Uh, yeah. Now, one half is actually assembled with these pieces, but they only go as far as the, uh, uh, the, the plug here. Only, plug here. It only goes as far as these pieces do. As you can see, they they come right out, they come right out to the surface. Actually, that's not what I even want to focus on. <laughs> um, here, here, here. These pieces come, this is the combination side, this half. This comes together with the teeth fix, merging these three pieces together, and then you put the combination part onto it. And um, over here it shows you putting all of these together with these tooth picks. Now I actually had an issue with this because as I was putting them on one of these pieces, I what if it was actually this first one here? It actually broke somewhere around these pieces here. Now I had some wood glue on hand, but they claim you're not supposed to need glue. So that kind of worried me. Hey. The way I would fix this part is by replacing these sawtooth pieces with additional rubber bands. I mean, additional toothpicks. Where do rubber bands come from? Additional toothpicks. I apologize. I thought I heard my cat run in here. Um, no, be if you did. Um, now these pieces were incredibly difficult to press together. I squeezed and squeezed as hard as I could with my bare hands, and I was only able to get it halfway. I had to use this thing to press it the rest of the way. This is called a jaw horse. It is a vise and a saw horse merged into one. And this thing ex exerts 600 pounds of pressure. Foot-powered hydraulic pressure. Now, when this thing was bought, it cost $500. And that was about two Christmases ago, I think. Now, the problem with this is, most kids are not going to have this on hand. Now they might be able to might be able to use it with daddy's help, but only daddy would should have a tool like this. Only a kid would want something like this. And so, unless it's supposed to be a father son project, that makes absolutely no sense. It's, it's, um. Now the price on this thing may have changed, changed since I since I got it for Christmas, but that is a whopping five hundred dollars we're talking about. That is expensive. It's for any kid to have. Now, admittedly, talk about how difficult it was to squeeze this thing together. Admittedly, I did have this a, the slightest bit off when I put the um, 
when I squeezed the um the toothpicks together. I'm not quite sure how that happened. I mean, there were straight toothpicks going into straight holes. How can you possibly get that lopsided? I'm not really sure if you can see it, but they are. It is a slightly askew. It's the tiniest fraction of an inch off. But again, uh, considering the size of these pieces compared to the size of the whole puzzle, that really shouldn't have affected construction. Now, to top it off, this thing feels incredibly fragile. As I mentioned earlier, I accidentally broke a piece trying to assemble this thing. It feels like if you were to twist this thing with just the tiniest bit of force, like twist this one way and twist the other end and the opposite way, you could probably break this thing right in half. But again, I have kind of big hands and this thing is incredibly small. Um, so, I seriously doubt that could, that affected the construction. They might have, but I seriously doubt it. Also, when, when putting this thing together, you have to watch out for the handle. Because sometimes, that little piece there will not go in the hole. Now, it's being very cooperative today for some reason. But if you're not watching out for that, you could wind up breaking the handle. get this thing the tiniest bit off, like say that for example, then it's not going in the hole. And if you were to apply pressure to it thinking that you've got plenty of room for it, that is laser cut all the way through so it is weaker and therefore you could potentially break it. So you need to watch out for that. So, final score on this thing. Final score is a 1 out of 5 stars. Um, the only um, star comes from the combination abilities. I do not recommend this thing to anyone buying it for $20. There's 19 in cash, really. And uh, I would sooner... Well, I'll get to that later. Um, yeah, um... That's pretty much all I have to say about this thing. I do not recommend it. This thing is supposed to be a kid's toy, but it is far too um, far too difficult to put together for a kid, I think. And I don't know of any adult who would, would even need something like this. The set makes much more sense. So um, that's it for now, and uh, I'll come back with a follow-up video on my um, my ending thoughts. Till then, bye.